US-752 General Operation High Volt Pulsed DC Stimulator. The patient leads should always be checked for proper connection and damage or deterioration prior to treatment. Loose connections or damaged cables can cause low stimulation output, no stimulation output, or sudden irregular increases in output, resulting in possible discomfort to the patient. The treatment site and electrode should be cleaned and properly prepared prior to application of electrical stimulation to the patient. We recommend that you use Amrex conductance gel or Flextrode conductance spray and cloth covers to thoroughly moisten the treatment site and electrode surface prior to every treatment. In order to operate the US-752 high-volt pulsed DC stimulator modality, you must first connect the power cord to the AC receptacle on the back of the unit and insert the power cord plug into a properly grounded AC receptacle. Verify that the main power switch, located on the back of the unit, is set at the ON position. Depress the internal power stimulator switch to the ON-DOWN position. Connect the patient treatment stop switch to the treatment stop jack. Reduce the channel A and channel B intensity controls to the zero reset position, enabling the audible tactile clicks. The US-752 is equipped with an intensity reset circuit feature. This feature prevents the practitioner from applying one patient's intensity setting to another patient. Prepare the pad electrodes and apply them to the patient. The pad electrodes may be held in place by means of retention straps or weight bags. Hand the patient treatment stop switch to the patient and explain its function. Rotate the power timer control knob clockwise and set it to the desired treatment duration. The power timer on, stimulator on, and the default treatment setting indicator lights will illuminate. The factory default treatment settings are output mode, continuous, pulse width narrow, frequency 1 pulse per second, and white reference jack polarity negative. Press and release the output mode control until the continuous output mode is selected. The output mode indicator light array will indicate the output mode selected. The output mode selection can be changed at any time during treatment. Always set the channel A and channel B intensity levels while in the continuous output mode. This will prevent unexpected surges of intensity during the initial patient setup in surge or reciprocal modes. Press and release the pulse width control until the desired pulse width is selected. The pulse width indicator light array will indicate the pulse width selected. The pulse width control can only be adjusted when the channel A and channel B intensity controls are set to the zero reset position. Press and release the frequency control until the desired pulse frequency is selected. The frequency indicator light array indicates the pulse frequency selected. The channel A and channel B output indicator lights will reflect the pulse frequency selected. The output pulse frequency selection can be changed at any time during treatment. Press and release the polarity control to select the polarity for the black reference output jacks. The polarity indicator light array indicates the polarity selected for the black reference jacks. The polarity selection can be changed at any time during treatment. Slowly increase the channel A intensity control to the desired output setting. The channel A intensity meter will indicate the output intensity selected. Slowly increase the channel B intensity control to the desired output setting. The channel B intensity meter will indicate the output intensity selected. The output intensity setting can be changed at any time during treatment. Press and release the output mode control to select the continuous, surge, or reciprocal output mode. The output mode indicator light array will indicate the output mode selected. The output mode can be changed at any time during treatment. Press and release the output on control to select an output on duration for the surge mode or a reciprocal output on duration for the reciprocal mode. The output on indicator light array will indicate the output on duration for the surge mode or the reciprocal output on duration for the reciprocal mode. The output rate indicator lights for channel A and channel B will reflect the output on duration selected. 
the output on control is disabled in the continuous mode. Press and release the output off control to select an output off duration for the surge mode. The output off indicator light array will indicate the output off duration selected. The output indicator lights for channel A and channel B will reflect the surge off duration selected. The output off control is disabled in the continuous and reciprocal modes. When treatment is completed, stimulator output will be discontinued immediately. The power timer switch shuts off and a bell sounds. The output intensities reduce to zero as indicated on the channel A and channel B intensity meters, and the indicator lights do not illuminate. US 752 General Operation Combination Therapy Combination therapy is the ultrasound and stimulator modality applied through the ultrasound transducer simultaneously. Depressing the US-752 internal power ultrasound, stimulator, and combination switches to the on-down position and properly connecting a dispersive pad to the white channel A output jack will enable combination therapy.